we, uh, we have one more sketch for you. Um, earlier this year, uh, this year, as you know, Walter Cronkite retired um, from CBS Evening News after 19 years, oh, strangely enough, right. on the job. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna to hang in here for a while. But uh, after 19 years, we, we thought we might have an idea the way Walter would like to end up his final broadcast. Because on television, you have to... You have to, do, year. You have to adhere to certain rules and principles and behave in a certain manner. And so um, this is a little tribute to Walter, his final broadcast for CBS News. The Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening, this is Walter Cronkite. For the past 19 years, I've been sitting at this desk reporting all of the major news stories in the world. Tonight is my final broadcast, and I would like to add one personal note. For God's sakes, knock off that tickety, tickety, tickety sound. <laughs> 19 years of tickety, tickety. And another thing, they don't even give you your own office. I have to sit here in the middle of the studio with these idiots in the background. <laughs> Why don't you get off the phone and beat it? Get out of here. <laughs> and what the hell is a broad doing in the newsroom? This ain't the Mary Tyler Moore show. <laughs> Why don't you go home and bake some brownies? <laughs> All of these 19 years, I've done everything the way they told me. Be fair, Walter. Be fatherly, Walter. Be objective. Don't let them know how you feel, Walter. Well, tonight's my final broadcast, and I'm going to do whatever the hell I feel like it. <laughs> the Reagan administration announced its economic package to Congress this past week. Tough... Personally, I think the country is going down the dumper anyway. <laughs> but after tonight, I'll be out on my boat with a picture of martinis. And when you're half in the bag, the world problems don't seem very important. <laughs> now, my bosses here at the network said, Walter, speak in a deep, ponderous, measured tone. I've been doing that for 12,000 new casts, and just once I'd like to do it like this. Mount St. Helens erupted again. <laughs> Blew the top clean off. But that's all, folks. And by the way, I've been doing this broadcast every night at dinner time, and they never let me eat. Well, tonight, I really don't care. say I'm the most trustworthy man in America. People have faith in what I say. Okay, trust this. Kids, wet your finger like so. Now go jam that little sucker in the wall socket. Trust, trust your Uncle Walter, it won't hurt a bit. And another thing here with the network, there's no freedom. It's do this, do that. Wear a tie, Walter. Comb your hair a certain way, Walter. Well, this is my last night. I'll do it the way I want. <laughs> Never did care for a damn tie anyway. Walter, they said, don't change the hairstyle. How about this? <laughs> with cleavage. Well, it's about time, time to clean out my desk. They wonder what the hell happened to that 18 minutes of tape from Watergate. Few phone numbers here. Jane Pauley, Jessica Savage. Hmm, four stars. Starting tomorrow, this anchor post will be filled by Dan Rather. 
whom I'm sure will do a bang-up job for a man who's nothing but a big mess of black hair and teeth. <laughs> well, this is it, my last broadcast. You wanted this anchor chair so badly, fella? Pretty boy? Well... <laughs> The way I was, March 6, 1981. This is Walter Cronkite saying. <laughs> <laughs>